Hey guys, Terrorhoof here, and today I'm going to be talking about the trailer for the new Equestria Girls movie, Friendship Games. But I won't be doing it alone this time. I'm having a guest today, and... Where is she? Over here. <laughs> Down here. Don't scare me like that! You made me squeeze my ketchup packet! <laughs> Sorry. Also, did you come out of my shadow? Well, they don't call me Shadow Glambert for nothing. That's just creepy. So the trailer starts out with Principal Celestia telling the students about the upcoming Friendship Games against Crystal Prep Academy, and everyone seems really enthusiastic about the whole event. And after a shot of the Equestria Girls Main 6, we get a visual of the new villains from Crystal Prep. Oh, and also Human Twilight. I'm really interested to see how these Crystal Prep students are going to measure up as villains when compared to the last two movies' villains. I mean, in the first movie we got Demon Sunset Shimmer, in the second movie we got Enchanting Sirens, and in this movie we got... students from another school? I don't get a villain vibe from that. Also, you can tell that they're the villains of the movie, because they always have to touch everyone. Plus, look at their designs! They're adorable! That one's even got little pink freckles and berries in her hair! Anyway, Applejack then reveals that Crystal Prep has a history of beating Canterlot High at everything, and Rainbow Dash decides it's time to change that. Boom! In walks Human Twilight. Who looks more like a human version of Moondancer than Twilight Sparkle. That is true. The other human main six seem to be the exact copies of their pony selves. You know, minus the whole being a pony thing, and they wear clothes, even though ponies don't normally wear clothes. And yet Human Twilight doesn't really look or act anything like her pony self, except back in season one first episode when she was being a study freak. Exactly! I mean, people might say that's because she's Twilight if she never met the main six, but Human Twilight seems to be just shy and insecure about making friends, not uninterested in friendship. Especially in the next part of the trailer when she's walking down the halls of Crystal Press and looking so sad. <gasps> hey look! Human Sugar Bell goes to Crystal Prep too! Oh yeah, and it looks like Twist is there too. Speaking of Crystal Prep, it's obvious the school's appearance and name are modeled after the Crystal Empire, so that can only mean one thing. It's very likely Human Cadence will be making an appearance in this movie. Because Princess Celestia's and Princess Luna's human counterparts are the principals of Canterlot High, it only makes sense that Princess Cadence would be principal of Crystal Prep. And I'm guessing Shining Armor is going to be the coach of Crystal Prep sports team, since he was the Crystal Empire's coach for the Equestria games. Now that I'm thinking about it, if this school is supposed to be a strict prep school filled with evil, or at least rival-worthy students, it's kind of hard to imagine Cadence being their leader. <gasps> Maybe Human Harshmini will be her firm hand vice principal! Hmm, or perhaps Cadence will be the vice principal and the Human Samba will be the principal of Crystal Prep. Think about it, he's known for being an oppressive and evil ruler, so it would make sense that he would be the principal of the school with evil students. You just blew my mind. Wait, if that's true, does that mean we'll see more human villains? <gasps> what if Human Discord's a teacher there? And what if Chrysalis is the vice principal? <coughs> You're scaring me. The trailer then shows Human Twilight introducing herself to Pinkie Pie. And she's got that weird necklace thingy on. What the heck is that? It looks like the eye of a core from the Portal games. I think it might be some sort of magic detector, because earlier in the trailer we see Twilight have it open, and then she runs into the main six. Oh, just like Jack Sparrow's compass that points to the thing he wants most. Uh, sure. We then get an epic shot of Human Twilight and Sunset Shimmer staring each other down. It really is an epic shot. Also, I was thinking, with Human Twilight here, what need will there be for Sunset Shimmer? In the last movie, it seemed like she was gonna fill the void in the main six of the human world. But now that Human Twilight's here, what's gonna happen to her? Will she be replaced by Human Twilight? Maybe back in my predictions, like I said, maybe she'll return to Ponyville and be Princess Twilight's student. So many questions that, unfortunately, will not be answered until the movie comes out. We also get some great shots of Hasbro's newest toy design such as Action Applejack, Tripping Twilight, Bike Riding Dash and Sunset, and Rollerblade Rarity and Pinky. Also, if we look in the crowd, we get some more cameos by the Shadow Bolts. Fleur de Lis, Upper Crest, and Trenderhoof. I wonder if Human Rarity is going to have any feelings toward Human Trenderhoof. Will it be the same as Pony Rarities? It actually looks like she could be waving at him in the scene. Maybe she'll have feelings for Trenderhoof, and Trenderhoof will have feelings for Applejack, causing them to fight. Like a love triangle. Ugh, I really hope Rarity's obsession over Trenderhoof doesn't get in the way of the games and make the Wonder Colts lose. That'd be so stupid. Aw, oh, come on, Shadow. Surely you can relate to being distracted by an obsession. <sighs> Shadow.
Shadow. Huh? What? My point exactly. We then get both shots of both teams, Wonder Colts and Shadow Bolts, with cameo appearances by Lyra, Bonbon, bon, and Derpy on the Wonder Colts side, and Jet Set, Neon Lights, Trenderhoof, and Suri Polymer on the Shadow Bolts side. The Shadow Bolts. I'm liking that name. And hey, why are Neon Lights and Trenderhoof holding up Suri like that? Is she popular or something? Probably just for a dramatic effect, or probably one of those girls that thinks she's so popular and she has everyone around her fingers. Anywho, then we get to see Twilight's magic detector in action, setting off some ripples of magic, and magic portals appear. We also get Sunset freaking out about magic popping up everywhere. It makes me curious as to how they're going to work the pony ear and the wings magic effect thing into this movie. I mean, in Rainbow Rocks it happened because they played music, but now it's gonna happen because they're... good at sports? Eh. Well, we then get a glimpse of what looks like to be the Everfree Forest through one of Twilight's portals. Does this mean the human main six will have to face off against a monster from Equestria? I mean, mostly everything, they always have to fight off something. I would love to see that. Maybe then we'd get the return of Phoenix Sunset Shimmer to save the day. Maybe, but what we do get is Twilight's necklace overloading at the portal statue. And if you look closely, you can see Spike behind her. But is it human Spike, like the Spike that just barks and doesn't talk? Or is it Equestria Spike, and he comes through the ripple and starts talking? And Who's that older woman with the shadow bolts? Is she the one that gave Twilight the necklace thingy? I bet she is. Now I want to see this movie so badly. Me too. Other than a classic Pinkie Pie moment at the end. By the way, I'm surprised there's no hair on the pie or cake. Well, that's pretty much it for the Friendship Games trailer. I guess it's time to say goodbye now since we're done. Oh, I don't think so. Uh, what are you doing? Since you're a Pokemon, I'm going to catch you. Oh, I don't think that would work since I'm in a pony form and no! Hey, come back! I gotta catch them all! <laughs>